Hi, I'm your math professor, Christina Knudsen, and this video is about simple interest. Simple interest is covered in chapter five, section one of your textbook. And the name of that section is compound interest. So we will shortly get to compound interest, but we do need to first talk about simple interest so that we can build to compound interest. We'll start with a couple examples. So your sister Katara needs to borrow $100 so that she can take a trip. She says that in three years, she'll pay you back with interest. And since you're a very kind sibling, you tell her that she doesn't have to pay interest on the interest. You're just going to ask her to pay interest on the $100 that she's borrowing. So in three years, how much does she need to pay you in order to repay you the $100 and give you interest? So. Um, some relevant equations, the interest that she will pay is the amount that she borrows, which is called the principal, times the rate, times the time. So write this down in your notes, interest equals principal times rate times time. In this case, the principal, the amount that she's borrowing is $100. She is getting a rate of 2% per year, and she's borrowing it for three years. Okay, the way that we rewrite 2% is 0 0.02. So we've got $100 times 0 0.02 times three years, and this gives us $6. So this is the amount that she will pay you in interest. So the original amount that she's borrowing, $100 plus the six per $6, um, that she's paying in interest means that in three years she will pay you back $106. Okay, so again, copy this equation down is pretty important. Okay, so Katara is going to borrow $100, get um, to pay you $106 in a few years. Aang is also wondering if he can borrow money. He isn't your sibling, so you're not going to give him as good of a deal. You tell him that he needs to pay 8% interest. However, you're still pretty nice. You tell him simple interest is good, not compound interest, so he doesn't have to pay interest on the interest. He says 8% isn't bad. Very well, he'll go ahead and go forward with this deal. And he says he'll pay you back in half a year, six months. So you decide to lend him $50. How much money will Ang pay you in six months? And again, we have our amount of interest is equal to the principal times the rate times the time. In this case, the principal is $50. The rate is 8% per year. And then we've got um, a time period of half a year, six months. Okay, so again, let's move this down to from 8%, rewrite that as 0 0.08. Okay, so here we've got $50 times 0 0.08 times a half. Let's simplify this a little bit more. So half of 0 0.08 is 0 0.04. So $50 times four out of 100, this gives us 200 up top, 100 in the denominator. So he will pay you $2 in interest. Okay, so that means that in six months, he needs to pay you back $2 in interest plus the $50 that he originally borrowed. So that is how simple interest works. Here's that main equation. And in this next video, we will start to get into compound interest where we pay interest on the interest.